Welcome back to Living Local. In its inaugural season, the Quad City Storm auctioned off five specialty jerseys that helped generate more than $170,000 to benefit our community. This season, our local professional hockey team is auctioning 12 specialty jerseys, giving 100% of the net proceeds to nonprofits in the Quad City area. Here to tell us more about that is President of the Quad City Storm, Gwen Tomberks. Thanks so much for being here, Gwen. Thanks for letting me be here. So before we get to the amazing special specialty jerseys. Uh, you just kicked off your season opener this past weekend, so give us a recap. Oh my gosh, we couldn't ask for a better crowd on opening night. We had over 4,000 people, an LED light show, lighted wristbands in the audience. It was just, and we won in overtime. Oh. So it was just a fairy tale ending. Oh, what a way to kick off your second season. Okay, now for the jerseys, Gwen, what role did they play in your community outreach last year? Well, of course, our, our creme de la creme was the KISS jersey, which raised all, all by itself $45,000 for the USO. So there's no doubt that the jersey auctions play a big role in what we give back to the community. And so that's why this year we're doing some of them online so that you don't even have to be at the game to bid on them. So this is very fun. That's perfect. Yeah, last year was five. This year is 12. And tell us a little bit more about this new online platform that's helping you reach more people this year. So if you go to quadcstorm.com, there's going to be a, an icon there that you just click. All you do is put it in your name, your email, and your phone number, and you are registered to bid. So right now, the Peanuts jersey is actually online until 7 p.m. tonight when it closes. And so tomorrow we'll be awarding the Martin Luther King Center the very first check of the season. And so this is very exciting because some of the some of our jerseys are online only, live only, or half and half. Mm. So you really have to go to our website to see. All right, get all the details on their website there and make sure you know exactly what jersey is either in person, online, or maybe 50-50. Okay, now let's walk through just some of the specialty jerseys. There are 12 in total you mentioned that the peanuts jersey is when this ends tonight ends tonight at okay. 7 p.m. 7 o'clock tonight um, let's then talk about one salute to military jersey can you describe what this looks like and then who it's benefiting well, um, it's next Saturday, mm -hmm. so it's so cool because it's the camo, mm -hmm. but it's the Desert Storm um, brownie camo, so it's super cool. Um, it's actually benefiting Guide Dogs of America, and the leader in Iowa is going to be there with her guide dog, so she is blind herself, mm -hmm. and so we're going to actually have a very fun time. That, that auction is live after the game. Mm -hmm. Um, we know that a lot of our fans want to take it home with them and have the picture with the, the players, so that's super cool. And then the next one we're going to do, which is so big, it's the Deer jersey. Mm -hmm. For the very first time, we're having a John Deere logo on our jersey, and Deer actually designed it, so that jersey is going to be half and half. Uh, it's November 22nd, and so half of them will be sold live and half of them will be online. Everybody just has to go register at quadcstorm.com, and that bidding will be there too. And of course, the big one right now is buying a loved one's name on the cancer jersey on, in, on a ribbon of the color that, of the cancer they bought. So I, I have my dad's name on there right now in purple. He had esophageal cancer. So not only can they buy the ribbon for $20 on a jersey, but we will then sell replica jerseys. So if you want to buy a jersey with your loved one's name on it, we're going to sell those. This is just such a wonderful opportunity in so many ways because when people buy a jersey, the jersey has meaning to it. You guys have yes. gone to great extents to make sure that most of these jerseys really do have a powerful meaning behind them. In addition, the money that is going towards these jerseys is going to be given right back to our community, 100% of the net profits. So it's just an incredible way for people to give back and then get this, you know, once in a lifetime jersey that means so much. Um, how do you guys go about selecting the designs of the jersey and then the nonprofit that will benefit? So four of our jerseys this year were actually done by the entire league. Those are the licensed ones, Peanuts, Mossy Oak, mm -hmm. Nickelodeon, and Marvel. Um, the other jerseys are designed either locally by one of our, our local logo guys or um, we have our jersey uh, companies design them. So it's really, they're very unique to us and, and we put a lot of thought behind them. The non, actually the sponsor of the night chooses the nonprofit. Mm -hmm. 
And so that way the sponsor has a vested interest also. And it also, because it's staying here locally, it means more to the sponsor, it means more to our community, and then having the money stay here is really important. Well, a lot of teamwork going on behind the scenes to make all this happen. Now, in addition to the jerseys, you also host Chuck a Puck every single game. So how does that work to benefit our community? So every game a nonprofit runs the Chuck a Puck. You get six little foam pucks for $5. You throw them on the ice at the second intermission to win prizes, but they get to keep that money. So not only are they at the game having their nonprofit get exposure to the thousands of people that we have at the game, but they walk away with money in their pocket and we give money back every single game to our community. Wow, and the community outreach does not stop there with the jerseys or with Chuck a Puck. You guys are also hosting Paint the Ice coming up. What are the details on that? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. We do this twice for military game and the cancer game. So next Tuesday, November 5th, mm -hmm. from 10 a.m. till 7 p.m., for free, come over and honor somebody who served in the military by writing their name on the ice. And it's so, it's so meaningful. I mean, it's very touching. People actually tear up and mm -hmm. cry. Um, I'm going to now. And, and so it's just a, it's a great way. We started it last year with the military, but the cancer, we want the military ice to be as full as the cancer ice mm -hmm. this year, and it's going to be amazing. So come on out next Tuesday. Wonderful. And when is the, do you guys have it planned for paint the ice for the cancer one? It is. It's mm -hmm. the Tuesday before our, our Hockey Fights Cancer Game, mm -hmm. which is February 1st. So it'll be Tuesday, January 28th. And same concept. People go yeah, out absolutely. there and write someone's name who has been affected by cancer yes. um, to honor them. The only cool thing about the cancer so obviously military mm -hmm. your names are in blue and red mm -hmm. so the cancer paint the ice on January 28th is going to be in the color of the ribbon of the cancer they fought again just like the ribbon on the jersey so this year brand new we're gonna have a caregiver color which is plum mm -hmm. and a children's cancer color which is gold Wow. So the, the, the ice is going to be absolutely beautiful with all these colors and all these names. What a wonderful way to our, for our community to come together and to honor those who have been affected by cancer or those who have served in our military. That's incredible. Uh, Gwen, we've talked about a lot of ways that you guys are giving back today. Why is it such a huge priority for the Quad City Storm to give back to our community? You know, our players are great guys. I mean, they, they, they just played their hearts out this weekend. And the cool thing about about hockey is that um, you have people who are very passionate about the game, but not everybody knows the game. So we have to have people come to our games for another reason than, than loving hockey. And so giving back to your community and having family fun is really two of the reasons that people will come to the game. And once they get there, they see the beauty of hockey. I mean, that sport is an absolutely beautiful sport. So um, we just need other, other reasons to come to the game other than knowing hockey, and they, they'll fall in love with it. Yep, that was the case for me for sure. Yeah. Well, Gwen, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, for more information, you can call 309-277-1364. We'll also have the information posted on ourquadcities.com, and don't forget to check online for the Quad City Storm, all the information on the Jersey auctions. More Living Local continues after the break. Stay with us.